I'd like to welcome you all here. We're really excited to be part of this initiative with the City of St. Paul and Springboard for the Arts. It's truly a great day when the City of St. Paul is finally understood to be one of the great arts community in the entire region and the entire United States. Irrigate is an artist-led creative placemaking initiative spanning the Central Corridor light rail line in St. Paul during its years of construction. We believe that this construction period is a unique opportunity that brings together huge infrastructure development, a high concentration of resident artists on both ends of the corridor, a diverse ethnic and cultural mix among the neighborhoods, and a city with a strong track record of artist community engagement. Irrigate is about this idea that all along the Central Corridor, all of those neighborhoods have assets. They have artists who live and work there already um, and, and that those are, are tremendous assets to a neighborhood and they just need a little bit of support, a little bit of water. We're gonna start on, um, on the corner of Dale and University on this side and we're just gonna go one block down. support these artists to go out and make a connection to a business, to a community group, to a nonprofit that also has a stake in the corridor and do something. And the doing can be anything from something that looks like an event or an activity to a visual display. My hope is that the kind of vibrancy and vitality we've been able to build in Lower Town is going to extend for the six mile stretch from, you know, from Union Depot all the way uh, to the Minneapolis border. So the two primary strategies are to seed hundreds of artist-led projects all along the Central Corridor. And that happens through this mechanism of one-day trainings for artists who live and work along the Central Corridor. It definitely gave valuable background on the Irrigate Initiative. I think that it's uh, something that's really new, and so it's just good to get more information about that and really have the sense that they have an open call for a lot of different types of artists who will be doing projects. We're really excited about Irrigate because Arts and culture are such a valuable asset to building strong communities. Irrigate, in this partnership with the city and the Springboard for the Arts, is a great opportunity to really advance um, the well-being of communities up and down the Central Corridor. When people say, well, okay, explain creative placemaking, this is the project we point to. This one was very hard, it's very hard not to mention uh, Springboard for the Arts and Irrigate specifically. Um, when, when people ask us, what, are we, what change are we trying to make? What do we want to invest in? So, it, you know, it's a big empty space. I mean, my first hope is that it really, that we can really move the needle in a way that we can demonstrate here, that we can really show the value of artists in those communities, that we really can um, give people those moments of joy and surprise and fun, uh, and also really build serious infrastructure that helps sustain those neighborhoods.